Robinson Robbins and I founded Mineski as an organization since 2004. started as normal players inside an internet cafe near our school. We started playing around, slowly growing out and joining tournaments when we were surprised that we were quite strong and we won a lot of uh, local tournaments as a team. So when we formed the team in 2004, we matured enough when it reached 2008 after four years of playing, a couple of uh, changes of roster as well in the team. Uh, in 2008, we, fir we first won the first uh, Mineski qualification to become Philippine team in the World Cyber Games 2008 when we beat the defending champion Flo in uh, SM All of Asia. So uh, aside from this historical moment that back in 2008, a lot of local LAN events were won by the team in the span of four years. Ten years from now, actually, is more than enough time for Philippine esports to grow. Esports, by that time, hopefully, will become something like how Pinoy feel towards basketball. What we do is we do a reverse psychology towards our competitors. We want them to do what we are doing. We support a team. So our, somehow our so-called competitors, if they are, if they consider us to be one, we don't consider them to be one. They also sponsor the team. That makes the economy better. We want more players to come in. So players pertaining to the competitors per se, for the community to have a more sustainable economy. The more money coming in supporting these players, these talented young people, is actually something good. Let's say if we make a tournament, we make a weekly, we make a monthly tournament for people to become better, they also see, hey, I also want to follow their side. I'm more than happy that they're doing such because they are reaching the parts that we cannot reach. They're actually multiplying Mineski's vision faster every time they try to follow. But that's the thing, they always follow. If the economy of esports is somehow black, or if you are not open-minded, even to a point when people consider them to be real competitors, you can never reach the point of what you want it to be. Since the time I was playing, my parents always mocked me and even told me, stop what you're doing, if you work for me, you'll earn 10 times more or whatever, you can support your family better, I'll give you a far more responsible life. I took it actually as a challenge. A challenge to prove anybody that if you are doing what you love, you will even have a happier life. It doesn't necessarily mean if you're earning more, you are more happy. So. From the people inside the community, if they just do what they love, they'll surely be, surely be more happy. It's just how you try to find a way to make it sustainable. Now we are trying to help the others to make it sustainable. We don't do this for money. This is about passion. Something that the community does not see. If they see how hard Pinoy is trained for these kind of tournaments, and at the end, even though they give everything they have and still not win, then they will understand, oh, so now I see why they are so passionate about these sports. 
it's not about what went wrong, but it's already about time for you to see what people have sacrificed for to reach that point.